Now I'm going to talk about survival horror games, especially coming this year and how awesome this year will be for the survival horror games. Uh, recently we got Resident Evil 4 remake. There's also upcoming Alone in the Dark reboot coming maybe this year, it could be next year. New Silent Hill 2 remake is in, uh, coming, uh, but that again we don't know if it's this year or next year. But let's just say 2023-2024 will be an awesome Awesome time for survival horror games and in this video I'm going to talk about two indie survival horror games that are definitely coming this year because they have a concrete release date and I'm going to get both of them. Uh, one game I have known for quite a while and it has been in development for quite a long time now but the other one I didn't heard about it until just a couple of days ago uh, but let's start with the another one that I've known it has been in development for quite a while and it has delayed multiple times but now it's finally set to release in August 30th uh, at the end of August, August 30th uh, and it's Daymare 1994 Sandcastle and it's a prequel to Daymare 1998 that I played a couple of years ago that was released on uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. And I really liked that game. It wasn't, it wasn't great, but it was good. It definitely had problems with the gameplay and you know, technically it wasn't very smooth uh, and so it wasn't quite polished game but uh, it was a third person over the shoulder uh, survival horror shooter uh, which Followed the same formula as Resident Evil 2, 3 and 4 remakes. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't that great, but uh, of course you could clearly see that the uh, uh, Resident Evil... I'm not exactly sure... I can't remember what year that game was released was I think I'm not sure if Resident Evil 2 remake was out yet was Daymare 1998 come before Resident Evil 2 remake but anyway it was very similar and yeah you could easily see that Resident Evil series as a whole was a big inspiration for uh, Daymare 1998 and this will follow the prequel, will follow the same formula uh, as those Resident Evil uh, remakes in the recent years. Uh, by the looks of gameplay and screenshots it will pretty much follow the same style as it was in a previous game 
Gamer 98. Uh, so I have a uh, quite high hopes for this as I mentioned it has been delayed multiple times so I hope that it will finally be in a much more polished uh, state when it will finally be released in a couple of months. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that and the de developer is the same Invader Games that made the first game. Uh, so really looking forward to that game. And the other one that I just found out a couple of days ago, uh, it's called Grey Hill Incident Abducted Edition and it's come and yeah also uh, what platforms the Daymare is coming to. Uh, it's coming on August 30th, it's coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series, Xbox One. So last gen will be supported even on Xbox, uh, PC and later date also coming to Nintendo Switch, which is, which is pretty uh, surprising <laughs> uh, because Nowadays we see more and more games dropping, you know, the support for Nintendo Switch, which is very understandable. Uh, but yeah, uh, so Grey Hill Incident Abducted Edition, that game will come next month, uh, if I remember right, 9th of June uh, digitally, but a week later, a 16th of uh, June, it will get its physical edition and I have pre-ordered a physical PS5 version. Uh, so as you may, from the name, uh, assume what the setting is, yes, it's about alien invasion in a small uh, country village. Uh, so very, very similar setting and what I have seen from the game, it reminds me so much of uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie Signs, uh, which is one of my favorite horror sci-fi you can call it sci-fi, of course, because it's around aliens, but let's just say horror movie. Uh, one of my favorites of all time, and the game looks like it is like an unofficial M. Night Shyamalan signs the video game. <laughs> uh, the setting is just so similar, there's a you know, family that needs to fight the alien invasion, uh, like in the movie, and it will be a first person view, so first person horror, but unlike Daymare, it will focus more on, you know, exploring and not so much on the action side. There is action. There are guns that you can defend yourself against those greys, ETs. Uh, so, yeah, it looks very promising, very atmospheric. Uh, but it will focus more on storytelling and exploration and, uh, yeah, pretty much. But it's always welcomed, in my opinion, that there is combat available. So I always appreciate that it's an option and not like, I, I don't really like, you know, uh, hide, and, uh, hide and just run away uh, uh, kind of horror game. 
games where you can't defend yourself, you just have to run away from the monsters or just hide. Uh, those are not my kind of games, uh, but I really can see the, uh, you know, why so people, why so many people like those kind of horror games. But anyway, Grey Hill Incident Adopted, Abducted Edition will be out next month uh, for PlayStation Five. PlayStation 4, Xbox Series consoles, so there will no, there will be no uh, Xbox One version, uh, no Nintendo Switch, but of course it's coming to PC. So PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S and PC, uh, coming 9th of June, and console versions will get the physical. Edition, at least the PlayStation 5 version. I'm not sure if PlayStation 4 or Xbox. Uh, I'm pretty sure Xbox Series uh, version will get physical edition uh, as well as PS5, but I'm not sure about the PlayStation 4 uh, physical edition. I'm not sure about that, but anyway. So, this is it. Two very interesting India games coming uh, very soon, and I'm excited. And I hope uh, that if you're a survival horror fan, you will check these games out uh, if you didn't know about them uh, before this video. Go and check them out, some gameplay trailers and just information if you're interested. But yeah, looks like this year especially will be a great year for survival horror games. So, yeah. So, that's it about now and... As usual, see you in the next video, whatever it is. So, bye.